Yo, yo, this is Chris Blair. Cheers. I'm just sitting here having a beer. It's a really rainy day, so I'm staying out of the rain right now. And I thought, you know, while I'm sitting here, I might as well, nice and time my hand, I might as well do a video um, to help you. My goal with this video is to help you succeed and help you think differently and to, to break the mindset of what. Um, what most people are doing that's actually setting up people for failure. Um, first of all, before I get into this video, which is going to be a little bit negative, I want to reinforce that you can absolutely have success. You absolutely can have success. The, yes, the market's more competitive than it used to be, but there is so much econ sales going on. I mean, there's there are people in my group, in my course mastermind, doing hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales every single month, right? I mean, there was a guy who signed up for my course of mastermind in July last year, and then the next month he did 100,000. He, and he, he went from losing money every month to suddenly making 100,000 just from the few principles that we, we, we taught and he learned from us, okay? So, now, I just wanna, so that's the point. First of all, you can absolutely fucking have success with this business, you absolutely can, okay? You gotta believe that and it's totally possible, okay? Now I'm gonna talk about what I personally, from my point of view, I see as the common mistakes that people are making. And some of this, I'm not gonna name any names, right? I'm, not, I'm, gonna, leave any, I'm gonna leave all names out of this. But uh, some of these things and ways of doing this business are actually being taught by some other trainers, right? And I understand why they're teaching these methodologies, is they wanna make it as easy and accessible uh, for people to start implementing and start making an action and, and doing stuff in their business. But the problem is, uh, you, you'll, I think you understand the problem when I go into this, okay? So we're gonna talk, I made a list of some stuff that are, that are, are causing all sorts of issues and causing people to fail, okay? Um, this is in no particular order, but we're gonna go into this right now. Okay, number one, a general store. Unless you are a one of two things, an experienced marketer who's had a lot of success with e-com, who's able to truly understand how to go into multiple niches fast and research and learn how to do it fast. Like if I open a general store, I would probably have success with it, right? Because I know how to properly research and, and find unique original ideas within that niche, right? But for 99% of the sellers out there, right? It's a really bad idea because they truly don't know how to research and learn it well, okay? And number two, so it makes it very difficult for them to have a general store which they're playing in multiple niches, right? The reason why they fail and it brings in the front is because they're doing general store and they're using, they're using spy softwares and all they're doing is copying. In fact, that's my next thing. All you're doing is going out and copying what other people are selling or going to AliExpress and sorting by the best sellers, right? And, and just grabbing shit off AliExpress and selling the exact same stuff that everyone else has been pounding on Facebook for months, if not years. So this is not a recipe for success, this is a recipe for disaster. Okay, it's a recipe to burn your money. You, you'd be better off taking your money and lighting it on fire and you, or using it as toilet paper, okay? So a general store is a really bad idea for 99% for of e-com sellers. Or the, other, the only other person I think, the only other person I think who can make a general store work is someone who has got a lot some deep pockets, is willing to make a long-term investment in building up social media pages and SEO, along with paid traffic, like like uh, paid, you know, Facebook traffic and other traffic services. Then you can make a general store. But a general store is a bad idea. Okay, so what I recommend you pick one niche and truly get to know this. Okay, so again, this we're, we're going to continue on this theme, but. If you're in a general store, you don't truly know your niches, right? But if you're focused on one niche, not only should you do proper pre-research, which I teach how to, how to do in my course in Mastermind. In fact, honestly, I think that this is why, I don't know if you guys know who Custom Cat is, right? But Custom Cat is one of, is the biggest print-on-demand supplier on the marketplace. They have 15,000 sellers. They have told me point blank, right now, other top 20 sellers, out of the 15,000 stores that have their, their app installed, Half the top 20 are in my course of mastermind. And I'll tell you, the step that we teach, the idea of picking one niche and, and then truly researching, getting to understand your niche, sets up my people for success. 
I mean, this is one of the key core principles of, of success. It sets you up for success because you truly understand and learn your niche, right? Now, this is really a critical thing. By truly learning and knowing your niche, you become the market master. I'm getting a little nervous here because some lightning. Wow, this may put... Hmm, help him okay. I should probably move farther inside. Let like them go into. Guys, I'm going to have to move farther inside. I'm going to keep the video going. But I'm sort of partially outside and there's some lightning and that makes, that's making me nervous. Hold on. The video will continue, but I'm just going to move inside. 100% inside. I was partially inside, but now I'm fully inside. Sorry about that, but I, I, I don't want to get hit by lightning while doing a live stream. That would, that would not be smart. All right, here we go. Let's continue. I was sitting out on this out sort of half outside covered by a tarp, like a, like a tarp. All right. And then I saw the lightning that, that, that made me nervous. Uh, I, I never want to, I, I, don't, I don't recommend getting hit by the lightning. Okay. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Okay. So I was talking about the idea of, look, you start truly become the market master, get to know your niche, right? It makes a massive difference. Okay. And so, and if you're running a general store, right? You now obviously can't even master your niche to get to know your niche. But even people who are running niche stores, I see this all the time. I literally ask them. I, I, I've had people join, or people who are thinking about joining my course of mastermind. So you have a niche store in the swimming niche or whatever niche it is, right? Can you tell me who, can you tell me your biggest competitors on Facebook? No. Like, wow. I mean, just think about that for a second, okay? How, if you were a manager of, of a big corporation, right? Say you, you're a manager of, okay, let's just say you're in, this, you're in the cell com industry, right? And here, you know, and you don't know, say you're in the United States, and, and you know, there's T-Mobile and Verizon and a few others, right? Let's just say that you were a manager of a shop for T-Mobile. And you couldn't, didn't know who Verizon was, or didn't know who AT and T was, or didn't know the other. How quickly do you think you'd be fired? I think you'd be fired in a heartbeat. Yet there are small business owners who are playing in a niche, which is a smart idea, but they have never bothered to truly get to know their niche. They don't even know their competition. Guys, if you don't, by analyzing your competition, you learn a lot about what sells and what doesn't sell in your in your marketplace, right? You learn a lot about what has sold and what hasn't sold, right? And and by the way, it's it's a really bad idea to be. This gives me the next thing: way too much copying and not enough originality. I, I, you know, sometimes you know, I have a I have a love hate relationship with these spy software. And one of my actually one of my best friends in this industry, who I've known for years, Russell. Is a is a producer of these spy software. And I told him straight out, I I, I love it and I hate it. I'll tell you why I love it, okay? First of all, it's a great tool for researching and learning your niche. That's, that's, and if you use it for that, that's great. But what 95% of the people are using it for, 99% of people are using it for, they're using it just to copy ideas. Okay, let's use this, okay, my competitor's selling that, I'll make my own version of it, or I'll just exact, exact, copy exact and I gotta sell it, well, fuck! Everyone can do that. Every single player in your niche can do that and, and you're just becoming another, oh, I'm selling the same shit as everyone else's store. And you wonder why you don't succeed. So the spy software in itself is not a bad idea, but it's the way it's being taught to use. In fact, I sometimes, and I literally, guys, I cringe when I see some other trainings. I don't, and I'm not gonna point out any names. And, and a lot of them are well, are, are well intended, but, and they wanna make it easy for you. They, they wanna make this, they wanna, they make this game easy for you guys. And so they say, hey, I just go out and you just buy stuff for a couple of people selling and go out and sell that. A really bad idea. I mean, seriously, really bad idea. You may get lucky and, and, and you may be one of the first people on this idea on Facebook and you may be one of the first few adapters to that, and yes. But the rest of the people are gonna be like, like sheep following the herder to the slaughterhouse and they burn their money down. By the way, this is a negative video, guys. I'm sorry about this. But I'm, t I'm gonna reiterate, you can absolutely have success with e-com, absolutely. In fact, the people in my course and mastermind group that are crushing it, okay? You can absolutely do this, but the point of this video is, is to point out to you guys, 
the wrong ways, and which not, most people are doing it these ways. This is why they don't succeed. All right, next. Playing blindfolded darts. And so this, this, this has a lot to do with what I was talking about um, when it comes to not knowing your niche or being a general store. If you don't know your niche or you don't know your store, you don't, you know, you run a general store, either one, whether you're, you're a general store owner or you're a niche store owner, but you don't really know your niche. Those people, what they do is they, they, they use the spy software and they'll grab four, five, six, seven ideas in one day and they'll throw them on their, on their store and they'll start launching ads to them. You know what that's equivalent? That's equivalent to me taking this blindfold, taking this piece of paper, blindfolding myself, going and grabbing some darts and throwing the darts at the board. Playing blindfolded darts. And will, will, on a rare occasion, someone get lucky and make a hit? Absolutely. Absolutely someone will. But it's not a systematic system. Guys, okay, think about this. There's some 30,000 Shopify stores right now, okay? Now, of that, not all of them are active. And, and even of the 15,000 people who got a custom cat installed on their, on their store, they're not active, right? Let's just assume that roughly, okay, let's even go one-sixth of them, okay? So 5,000 stores advertised on Facebook. Now, I'm sure it's more than that, but let's just say 5,000, okay? And of the 5,000, only, well, there's only 400 people who've ever taken my course in Mastermind and then a couple other people I know who've taken some other good training courses I'm aware of. So maybe there's possibly five, well, not all the people even in my course in Mastermind are active, right? Some, this is the obvious. People are lazy. They get in, they buy, they don't, they don't take any action, okay? In fact, I've, I recently talked to someone in the group who reached out to me with a question They've been in my course master by seven months, and I said, "Really? You're asking me this question now? Have you gone through the? Oh, I watched five videos. Well, I mean, so even in my course master, enough people don't take action. So, but hey, let's just stick reality. Okay, let's just say there are 500 or so stores that are doing it right. That means there are 4,500 stores that are not doing it right. Okay, so what that what those four five thousand stores are doing is they're throwing five products up a day randomly, basically randomly, like going find the best sellers in the niche, going copying everyone else. So that, let's just say 4,500 4, times five. By the way, I think it's a conservative estimate. That's 22,000 random products being thrown up and most of them are copycats of each other. So if there's, if there's 22,000 products being launched with this methodology, Okay, I'm gonna get lucky, I'm gonna get lucky, I'm gonna get lucky, woohoo! Yes, there will be one or two darts hit the board. And they'll have a short-term success. But the rest of the people are just throwing their money down the drain. And the people who did happen to get successful, it wasn't based on a business system, it was based on luck. Period. Which is why you see all these these, these posts in, in Shopify groups that say, hey, I made $25,000 two months ago and now I'm not making crap. It's because they're not following a systematical system to create winning product after winning product after winning product. That's what you truly need to have success. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. So that leads me to the next one, which I wrote down, is not using your own creativity, right? Use your own creativity, right? And there's numerous ways to do that. Maybe I'll talk about that in the next video. In fact, you know what? That's gonna be my topic for my next video. How to, I'm writing that down, use your own creativity. I'm just writing it down so I don't forget. Sorry guys, I just ran it down so I don't forget. That will be my next video. I'm gonna do a whole video on some ways of coming up with your own creative ideas. All right, next. Uh, these two are huge. These two are huge.
99% of the people doing shop by stores are focused 80% of their effort on the 20% that's important. Let me repeat that what I'm saying. 99% of the sellers out there are focused on the 80% focusing, sorry. But it's my first beer, I'm not drunk. This, I was having, this is a little bit complicated in expression, but I'll explain it here in a second. But 99% of the sellers are focusing 80% on their effort on the 20% of this business, right? When they're not, when they should be focusing, you know, most effort on something else. What I mean by that is, they're so focused on this one aspect of this business that they view as most important. When the reality is, that is actually only 20% of the business. And that is traffic strategy. And in this, most cases, Facebook. Well, there's some people who are focused on Google, Google uh, ads only or Pinterest ads only or YouTube ads, which is fine. But the point is, they're putting all their e fucking effort into those, into that. Which, here's the reality, guys. Let's put it, let's put it in the form of a car. What is traffic? What is, what is Facebook ads? What is Google ads? What is Snapchat ads? What, what is Google uh, SEO? What, what is this, right? It's gasoline, period. Gas, okay? It's, 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 a, it's gas that comes to your website and potentially buys from you. Well, if you don't have a good frame of your car, you don't have a good engine, I could sit here and pour gas in the air all day I want and I'm not going to be able to drive anywhere. Yet everyone is focused on the gas. Nothing is more important than a good website, well laid out to convert, and two, a cool, unique, original product offering. Nothing is more important than those two things. I mean, these are infinitely more important than anything. Okay? If you have a good website and you have a good product offering, you will, your Facebook ads will convert. Now, what about fancy tricking, you know, trick or dickery, you know, advertising methods like custom conversions and CBOs and manual bidding and all this fancy cool stuff? That is all great and good and dandy when you have a winning product and when you have a converting website, that's, those are scaling methods. But it's completely and utterly meaningless if you don't have a good website and you don't have a converting offer. Yes, everyone wants to know, because well, every time I host a video or a training on Facebook ads, you know what happens? Everyone in the marketplace pays attention. They want to know the latest ninja technique on Facebook ads. But guess what? It's totally meaningless to you. you, you I, I, I promise you guys, most people out here know more about Facebook ads than they need to know to make sales. Facebook ads, ninja tricks matter when you're scaling a winning offer. Period. Facebook ads, ninja tricks matter when you're scaling a winning offer. That's, that's it. The basic, simple targeting, right? Auto bid, that's what you should be doing when you're testing. Now there's some cool testing techniques that we teach that help you take your testing very, very cheap using PP ads to cut your, your sure losers quickly, but that's a different conversation. All right, guys, if you think you got value out of this video, I'll be honest with you, it's, it's nothing. This is actually just the tip of the iceberg of what, what you can learn in my course to mastermind. Guys, it's not just a video course, it's a mastermind. When I'm in there doing, this morning I did a live stream uh, video answering questions. I go through the entire group answering every single question that I went through there verbally. I also answer written lies. I did one three days ago. Every two to three days, I'm doing a live stream answering questions. You get full access to a, a course that covers everything. A to Z, Facebook ads, Snapchat ads, Google shopping, Google SEO, Pinterest, product, you know, how to come up with original ideas, all that's covered. Facebook uh, site layout, all that's covered. Or you can, if this is my private coaching, you can private message me. And uh, yeah, probably missing me and I'll, and I'll yeah, give you my coaching options. Let's see what we got here for, as far as questions.
Hi, Chris. Hey, good to see you. No, I'm not in Sydney. Uh, I'm not in Sydney, so I can't catch a drink with you, but thanks for the offer. Hey, Chive, Sydney, O'Connor, good to see you, buddy. Hey, uh, here what it says here. Um, Chris, I'm running an online store here in Australia, doing well, but I can't bring it to the next level. I'm trying to scale. My ad's dying. Well, I have two suggestions. Sign up for a course in Mastermind. There's tons of scaling techniques. You go to ecomvantage.com forward slash VIP. You can, I'll put the link in the thread here or private message me and I'll, we can talk about private coaching. I can definitely help you scale that. What software? I don't want to recommend any software because I think software hurts people because they use it wrong. Uh, Brock, I'm not in Sydney. It's a great song. I like this song. I'm not, a, I'm not a big country western fan, but this particular song I actually like. A uh, nice new hairstyle. Actually, there's nothing different about my hairstyle. The only difference is I'm not putting. I did. I decided the last few, three or four days not to put any gel on it. So it's literally same hairstyle with no gel. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next. Oh, here we go. Nice, nice. And that, what you just said there, Christine, is absolutely right. Cheers. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be talking about how to come up with some original creative ideas. All right, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. To watch the next one, click right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here.